Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome back to Foothill Paint Fabrication. We've got a little quick short video today on straightening the louvers. So these have been pushed in a little bit, somebody leaning on it or who knows how it happened. It's not drastic, there's no kinks in them, but I'm going to go over real quick how I straighten them and what to look for and what you can do to help yourself try to get them back into a, you know, a nice, smooth, straight line. So let's move you in close here and see what we can do. Okay, really quickly, I'm sure you guys can see, this one's pushed in, this one's pushed in. These two were pushed in as well. I had already started on these. Uh, now these are just pushed in a little bit. They were kind of all caved in the same amount, like somebody had put their hand here and helped push the truck or uh, do something. So it's not like they were kinked in like something struck it. Now if they get struck like that, that's, they're a lot harder to fix because you have to try to get the kink out without stretching the material because then they will kind of oil can on you and just keep going, you know, boop, 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 and try, you know, it's either in or it's out, but it's not flat. So to fix that, I'll talk about that in a second, but I'll show you what I'm going to do to fix these right now. And the tools I'm going to use is that thumb and that thumb, and that's it, really. So I can reach around this side on the back side here figure out what my thumb is, which one, and I'm going to push. So it, it's low right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push right here and try to get this area right here to stand back out. Because when this goes in, it pulls the raised area of the louver on, out here down. So if we can push and try to rotate that back up, then this thing is going to come out where it belongs. So I'm going to push a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm pushing over here, not in the center. You know, the, your, your instinct is just put your thumb or whatever right where the, the bad spot is. So I'm going to push over here a little bit and try to get that bent back up. And then what I can do is start moving my thumb down. I can push with one thumb on the outside and the other thumb on the inside and simply just kind of roll that back out into the right shape. Now it's still a little low, so we got a little bit of work, so I'm going to push some more. As you can see, it's already looking really nice. So that one is a lot closer. I'm going to give a little more nudge here. And that's looking really good as I sight down it. Now you guys are looking up. And you can tell that we have a little bit different gap right here and because that's this one's too low. So we're going to do the same thing. Kind of bump them and make sure I'm pushing on the right one. This dent is a lot closer to the edge so it's going to be a little more difficult and it's my left hand and I'm right handed. So I'm going to push and if I can't get it I'll have to resort to something else. But it's starting to come back out. We're getting that a little bit cleaner, but this lip right here needs to be pushed out. And I can't quite get my finger in there. If I was be able to come around the other side, I might be able to reach through the hole in the dash here. And push on that. I always use my fingers first before I start switching to any kind of tool that I might overdo it and stretch all these out. So that one still doesn't want to come up. I need a little bit more leverage. So we're going to just grab a piece of wood here. And I'm still using my hands. I'm just going to use this piece of wood with the edge ground down. We're going to find our spot. Just use that piece of wood to push with. Prying from out here is probably the last thing you would ever want to do because you've got so much leverage and then you'll tweak these uh, the wrong angle. Right now they're just kind of pushed in. All of the louvers are kind of all at the same angle. Now if they're up and down and all over the place, that's a whole nother ball of wax that you have to spend hours fixing uh, just to get them halfway straight. 
and luckily these aren't that damaged so I'm gonna keep pushing on it like that and I'll push down in the middle a little bit and we're almost there now I've got a little bit more to do on this one and this one let me grab a longer piece of wood see if we can't get this one to bump out right here okay I found a longer piece of wood here it's got a little taper on the end we're gonna slide that up inside there now I can't get to I can only this side is completely open inside this strip right here there's a piece of uh, steel where the hinges sit so I can't get in there that well but I can pry a little bit on that piece of sheet metal so I'm gonna line it up and see if we can't bump that out a little bit make sure I'm on the right one it's hard to tell from the inside where you're at got the wood right down where the, the louver rolls. And I'll just keep working back to the edge right here. starting to look good it's still got a little dip right there and I can't quite reach it I might have to figure something out Let's see if I can get this piece of wood up inside there well it's just too wide I really try to avoid working from the outside because I usually screw it up if I do that Let me grab a stir stick and see what we can do. <clears throat> now I'll slip the stir stick through and then I'll grab it with my hand on the other side and then I'm going to use that as a little bit of leverage to pull and just work that spot a little bit. coming out I gotta have patience now I'm trying to hold the uh, the stir stick at a, about the right angle as this louver comes out and I'll put a little twist in it keep pulling I'm gonna chip the paint off because we're moving it so much so this way I don't bend the one below it trying to pry or anything I uh, could pry from the edge over here, but I'd rather not. But it may come to that. <clears throat> All right, that's looking pretty nice right there. It's feeling pretty good. Let's check it. Pretty good all the way across there. These two right here are still low. I'm gonna use my thumb. Just work it all the way across. good the last thing you want to do is make it worse all right this one's low right here if you try to make them perfect you could overdo it <clears throat> 
and then get yourself in trouble where you can't shrink the material back down. Now I'm looking from the side here as I run this over and see where it's touching and not touching. I know you guys can't see, but that looks pretty good. This one right here still got a dip in it, but the rest of them look good, as you can tell looking up from there. And uh, that's the worst view right there. You'll see more waviness looking up at, at this particular case. Now, if it was on a hood, you could look at it any angle you wanted. So I've got a little bitty dent right here that does not want to come out. So I'm going to have to reach in there and uh, kind of pull up on that. Okay, i got just a little bit of a dip in this one right here and I cannot get it out from the other side so I'll take a screwdriver and I'm not going to pry or anything I'm just using the leverage of the screwdriver to help me pull up so I'm going to stick it in here and I'm just going to pull away like that try to talk that thing into coming back out so I want to hold it at the, the proper angle and I'll just pull and pry against my fingers where my knuckles are up against the body here and I'm just going to keep working that until I get that lip back out. Fortunately these louvers were really not bent bad. There was five, I think five of them that were pushed in. So that feels pretty good. I got a little bit one here. Still just a little bit right there I need to get out. A little bit more. You gotta resist the urge to pry. Because all I do is screw up the one below it. Okay, let's take a look. That looks pretty good. Now you can see right here I knocked some of the paint off pulling on it, but these look good now. Let me switch the camera around and I'll show you how they look from the side. Okay, let's see if we can see this. Here's the uh, flexible ruler. I'm going to lay it on here and I'm just going to kind of hold it on the two top ones here and kind of pull it snug and just pull it across there. As you can see it's hitting all of them the whole way. I'm watching from the back side there. So it's looking pretty good. Feeling pretty comfortable that these are going to look great. Hardest part sanding them. I mean, these probably weren't sanded very well the whole every time it was painted. So we've got a little bit of work to do in there. But other than that, that's it. Uh, quick, little quick, just a quick video for you guys. Uh, don't uh, don't get heavy-handed. Um, don't start swinging hammers or grabbing pliers or anything like that. Try to use your hands as much as possible and bend. Even if you got your fingers in here and you're bending up with your finger. And you saw how I was using that screwdriver, maybe you couldn't tell, but I had the screwdriver in here like this, and I was just pulling up on the screwdriver. I wasn't prying or anything like that. I had it down in here, and I had my finger up against the bit, uh, body, and I'm just, just wrenching up on it. I'm using the length of the screwdriver as my leverage. And then if there was a little kink in it, then you can turn the screwdriver on edge a little bit and put it right at that kink, and then that would that'll isolate that lifting and all your weight is going up on just a one tiny little spot and you might be able to pull that out. So um, if you had to, you could dolly it. So, But your best bet is to pull it a little too far up and then get something underneath it and then tap it back down. Because trying to get that kink out by just by pulling, it's going to be very difficult to get it right. So you're going to have to kind of overshoot a little bit or even get a pair of pliers in there and just pinch it and try to get that flattened out there a little bit and then work it from there. So if these get really pushed in, they, uh, they, they were stretched to make, uh, you know, they stretched this steel out to make these. But if they get pushed in too far, what happens is it pulls these edges in and it folds them in 
and then you have way too much material. So you actually have to work on folding out each end and making it go back. And that could be as much as the sheet metal on both sides is pulled in, not just this upper piece. So you just kind of have to investigate it a little bit and figure out your best course of action before you start bending. And uh, always do the easy ones first. So just start on one that's just got a little bit of a hoop to do in it and just use your thumbs or whatever and get that back straight and then just work your way up. And then as you do it, then you'll get a little bit of technique going and then you'll be able to figure out how to tackle that bad one. And that's what I usually do. I do the easy ones first and then this one was the hard one. Um, you know, paint's popped off there, so we're going to have to feather all that out. But they all look straight. They all look good, especially standing here. They look fantastic. Looking from the bottom, in the camera view, they looked really even, the each hole uh, slot. So I'm pretty happy with it. And we're all done with that. Okay, guys, that just about wraps up this super quick video on straightening the louvers here on the 1950 Chevy truck. Um, hopefully yours, if you have one of these trucks, they're nice and smooth and perfect. But uh, this truck's 72 years old, and these were actually in really good shape. I was really happy to see that only, you know, I only had straight five or six of them. And they were just slight. It wasn't that big a deal. But if you do, try your thumbs first and just try to massage those things out. And then, you know, move over to a piece of wood or maybe a screwdriver at the very end. And you can get them looking good just like these. The next thing for me and my thumbs is sanding in between all these. And it's going to wear my thumb out getting all these sanded really well. But that will be for another video. Thanks for joining me here at Foothill Paint and Fabrication. If you just watched, started watching the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you like what you saw, give me that thumbs up. It really helps promote the channel, and I really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.